discussion on wind kessel effect the term wind kessel effect is used in the setting of large elastic arteries like aorta the original term wind kessel means air chamber in german language it was an air chamber used in fire engines in the 18th century to maintain continuous delivery of water for fire fighting in the case of aorta the aortic elasticity causes expansion and temporary storage of blood in systole so that more blood enters the aorta than what leaves it in systole the buffer stock of blood is released during diastole to maintain organ perfusion the wind kessel effect makes aorta function as a second pump in diastole this diastolic flow is quite important in the case of coronary perfusion as most of the coronary perfusion is diastolic as the elasticity decreases with aging this buffer effect is reduced leading to an increase in arterial pulse pressure and systolic pressure wind kessel effect ensures a smooth blood flow after passing through the elastic aorta though ejection from the left ventricle is intermittent the effect also helps to maintain a normal cardiac output and intravascular volume in the setting of uncomplicated essential hypertension this gets altered when the arterial stiffness increases later on wind kessel effect may play a role in large internal carotid artery aneurysms which act as a capacitance chamber slow arrival of contrast distal to the aneurysm has been noted it has been postulated that loss of this effect after treatment of large aneurysms may place the distal cerebral circulation at risk of hemorrhage here are a few journal references on wind kessel effect thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video